tutorial I am going to show you how can we implement grape gut segmentation algorithm in EMGU-CV. So let us get started. I will continue uh, with the project that I have developed in previous videos and in the segmentation I am just going to add a new submenu and I call it grape cut and then double click on it. Here I will do uh, the first thing usually I do is to apply a try catch block so that if there is any exception or error in my program then my program shouldn't crash so I will show the error in a message box dot show and whatever the exception that I have received in the message of this exception object. And since I need an image to process it, so I will be checking that if the user has read an image and displayed in picture box or not. So picture box dot image, if this one equals equals null, then I will do nothing I'm going to return out of this method. And also for the grape cut, we need to select an area. So a rectangular area must be selected by the user using the mouse. And I have created a global variable rect. So if my rect is equal equals null, which means that the user has not selected an area again, we will not be able to proceed further. So I'm going to return here in this case. Rest if the user has selected an image and if the rectangle is not null, that is he has selected a rectangular region, then we can go ahead and read it in a variable called img. And this is how I can read from my picture box new bitmap and a picture box dot image. And since I need not do not need a bitmap, rather I need an EMGU CV structure, so I can convert it into an EMGU CV by calling it to image. And since it is a BGR image, and its depth should be in bytes. Okay. Once I read the image, I need it in gray color, so we can easily do the conversion from RGB. This is the RGB image by using the convert method and then we can pass which color that we want is the gray and the depth is still in bytes. Okay. And then the easiest and simple thing that we can do is to apply the grave cut algorithm. So what I will do is variable output is equal to img dot grape cut. This is the simplest of all. And this one is expecting the rectangle that we will select. This is the rectangle. And how many iterations that we want to perform. Let's see uh, only one iteration. So if it is not, we are not satisfied with one iteration, then we can apply more than one iteration. So this is, that's it. So grape cut will give us an output and it's a gray output. If we see the picture box, let me see the image, what kind of image it is. Output dot is bitmap. And let's see the results first. Okay, probably it will not show anything because I will show you the theory behind it. Anyways, uh, let me select an image of this Kate and I just want to select an ROI. So for grape cut, you need to tell that this is the region that I'm interested in. So I selected this and then when we do the grape cut, so you can see we did not see anything right now. The basic reason is uh, here three, four things that we must understand that the value inside that out would be either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So if I multiply it with 255, uh, I will be able to see something. And if this is 0, it means it is background. If it is 1, it means the pixel is foreground pixel. If it is 2, it means that uh, it is probably the background uh, pixel. And if it is 3, it means it is the probable uh, foreground pixels. Two is probable background pixel, three is probable foreground pixel. 
So here we are only interested in the pixel values who is either three or whose value is either one. So pr the pixels which are confirm foreground pixels will be one and the pixels which are probably foreground will be three so this output we need to do some filtering on this uh, output and uh, let's see how we can work on those pixels to find out which value is one or which value is three uh, or if I do a, for example dot multiply just want to see multiply by let's say 255 and what it has to show file open and I will select again the same cat image and this time I'm going to select an ROI here let's say and then grave cut so you can see that it is saying somewhere here so all of them are multiplied by 255 because the values are the inside the rectangle so somehow I need to do a filtering here just wanted to show you this okay uh, now what I can do is I can create a variable IMG raw 2 for example and we can process this output like this dot convert and I'm going to use this uh, generic method of convert and I just want them to be in uh, bytes and uh, then we can use this C sharps delegate and we are taking input as in bytes and I can say it's like B and then inside this delegate we can do some processing on our pixels so we will be selecting every pixel and then we will be working on this pixel instead of uh, writing a loop that goes through the rows and the columns we can easily use the generic convert function just don't worry about this uh, exception so here what it is expecting is to return some bytes so we will be so inside this delegate the interesting part is i am working on every individual pixel in this grayscale uh, in this output image and you can see this is a grayscale image so what i want to do is i want to return if the pixel value equals equals one or if pixel value equals equals three that's what i want and uh, i should write a tertiary operator if this is equal to one or if this is equal to three if it is true then I just want to return 255 otherwise I want to return 0 that's it and it should be double dots so this is what I want and probably this one is giving an error cannot uh, bytes okay so it cannot implicitly convert into bytes so I will do it into bytes that's it so this is just a simple instead of using a loop I'm using a delegate so B is representing every individual pixel that I'm reading one by one and I am checking if this pixel value is equal to one or if it is equal to three and it is a ternary operator so if this is equal to if this is true then I am returning that pixel value to be 255 otherwise I am returning this zero okay so let's see this image too should be up something interest for us and we can check it so file open an image and here is the pixel and let me select a region and then we can grape cut so this is what exactly that I wanted so in the original image as you know that it was showing me a rectangle now these are the pixel values uh, these are the pixels uh, whose value is one or three so grape cut will give me the values of the pixels uh, which are inside that rectangle and whose value is seems to be like foreground then those values will be either one or three so this is how I filter out 
And now I just want to draw a contour around this uh, picture, for example, or this image. So we can also do that. Once we filter out, I just want to find the biggest contour. So I can do vector of vector vector of points. We call contours is equal to new vector of vector of points and then mate m for storing the hierarchy i can create a mate and then we can call cv invoke dot find contours so and the contours that i want to find are on my image too and uh, this is the contours where i want to store the contours and m is the hierarchy information and i just want to do the retrieval type to be the external contours i just want to display and the chain approximation method dot chain approximation method dot the simple one okay so once i calculate the contours let me do something like this those contours will be stored here but remember that i just want only one contour and the biggest contour so if i have one isolated pixel even it will give me a contour for that so i can find out the biggest contour or maybe i should write a method here it will be better let me write a method which will give me the biggest contour in my contours so let me write private uh, and instead of giving me the contour themselves, it will return me the ID of that contour. So it's better that I should know that this is the con biggest contour ID. Let me write it like contour ID. A little bit longer, but self explanatory. Vector of, vector of points. So this one will receive the contours. Contours, let me write it like this. And here, uh, based on the area, I will be able to decide which one is the biggest contour. So let me say max area or the maximum area is equal to, uh, we can do something like double dot max value multiply by minus one. <laughs> so that it will be the minimum value. So I selected a very, small value here as an area as an initial area and i call it contour highest biggest contour id let's say it is zero or minus one initialize it one and now i need to loop through all the contours and the contours dot size and for each contour i will find the area i call it double area is equal to cv invoke dot contour contour area and inside here i will be giving the every contour one by one so this one will calculate the area of my contour and if this area is greater than oh my god uh, max area then it means that this is my biggest contour okay so let's call it max area is equal to area so this one will become my biggest area and my contour id will be equal to i so whichever the contour i have i am processing right now its area is bigger so we select the a this maximum area to be of this one and then contour id is equal to one and then we hope that after processing something we will receive the biggest contour id and then we can return this id contour id so this method will give me the contour id of my biggest contour okay so here what i will do i just want to draw that contour so cv invoke dot draw contours okay and where we want to draw it is on img 
and these are the contours that I want to draw. Remember that I am considering all the contours that I have found, but remember it is asking for an ID. Do you have a specific contour that you want to draw? Yes, I want to draw the biggest contour. So I am calling it get biggest contour ID, and here I am going to pass my contours. And then we can display with any color, it's not a problem. So let's say I just want to display it in a red color and with a border of three, let's say thickness three. Okay, so it will draw a red contours. And instead of just drawing the contours, and I just want to draw the contour of my segmented. Uh, image on my original image so let's see what i want so let me open the same image and select a region of interest let's say this time i'm selecting this one and then grave cut so it, it missed some part in my opinion so let me select again the roi from somewhere here and now if i grave cut so you can see that it's okay but remember that the background is quite different and it is uniform so let's see some other case and the place where it will fail i'm i believe and now the background is not as simple as it used to be and when we try the grape cut so this is what the problem may occur so you can see that the some part is missing so there is advanced version i mean there is another implementation in which we can provide some select some points that these are some foreground points and these are background points and then we can apply the change so maybe in the next video i will show you how we can do that so i hope you developed an idea of how we can perform segmentation using grape cut and hope to see you in another video